damn, it's gonna be a long night. Yeah. Hello everyone and welcome to Accident. Now I've seen some people play this game, but this is the uh, the pilot, so this is the demo. I wanted to try it out, see how I liked it before I actually buy the game. Um, I'm hoping I like it. It sounds interesting. Um, I'm gonna click on this, see what the fuck the phone's ringing for. <laughs> All right. Hey there, welcome back. Hope you had a nice holiday. While you're away, we've begun a new project. It's called Roadside Heroes, and it will be about people who encountered a car accident and helped out. Now, while you were gone, we've acquired a large pile of data. Fortunately, it's all stored and properly filed, and it's up to you to figure out what exactly happened after each accident. Okay. Don't worry, thanks to this brand new software we got it in your uh, VR headset, it sounds much more fun than it sounds. What you need to do is put the CD, I know, ancient stuff, right? <laughs> to have each case into your laptop, run the software that pops up on your screen, and put on the VR headset. From then, you'll be controlling our heroes right from the moment they arrive on scene. I have no idea how it works, but it's, if that's not cool, then I don't know what is. Files are already on your desktop. By the way, the first scenario is a tutorial. I highly, I highly recommend you start with that one. Have fun, Mark. Okay. So, I think we're... Yeah, it's this button. Okay, virtual crash test lab. All right. Victims, dummy and dummy. Or dummy dummy, I guess. So... I've seen, I haven't seen the, uh, trial of this, so the ones that are in the trial. I've watched the video on, uh, the full game, so I'm hoping I like it. God, this is loud right now. Alright, so I just got done with the tutorial. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the Swedish countryside accident. Okay. Get our Oculus on. It looks like the Oculus Quest. I think it's what that one is. Well, what's going on? So we're driving down some country road. Oh, there's a dip in the road there. Don't know what we're in. Some, some, it's in park. Oh God. Oh no. Um, that dude's on the ground. Okay, hazard lights. Phone. Oh, come on, get out the phone, dude. One one two. So that's not. The right number. Go ahead. Can I get out? Can I get out? Okay, let me get out. Okay, need to turn off the ignition on the vehicles. Um, put out that fire. Oh, wait, what? Um, is it in my tr Do I have a fire extinguisher in my trunk? I hope I do. Yep, there it is. No, 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 no. No, I don't want the triangle. Oh, fire extinguisher. Where's the fire? Oh, there's a fire bell. Oh, someone rear-ended the truck. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, that don't look good. Okay, fires. Oh. Come on, fire. The fire ain't out. I need another fire extinguisher. Um, please tell me you... Oh, God. Hopefully there's another one. Oh shit. Oh shit. Is there a fire extinguisher in this trunk? Please tell me there. Okay, there is. Come on, fire, go out. There we go. Fire's out. Fire's out. Okay. Okay, uh, the ignition. Okay, I can reach in and turn off the ignition. Prevents an electrical system. Yep, it does. That's exactly what you should do. Go ahead and climb up in the semi, or I guess, yeah. Hopefully, there's no blood in here. Don't want bloodborne pathogens. This is not a car game, this is a truck. Definitely foreign. Now, I don't know. Can I get from the passenger side? Yeah, okay. Let's get. Can I re- No, I'm gonna have to get in. Oh god, that dude's covered in blood. Don't touch anything, you don't have gloves. Go ahead and- We need to mark the- Okay, so we need warning triangle. Okay. Why is it so far away? Good god. One told me this is fucking jogging simulator.
Alright, let's get another tr- I don't have another triangle, do I? No, I don't have another triangle. Hopefully one of these other cars does. You have a triangle? Yeah, you do. Okay. Is that a thing over in Europe? Do people just carry these warning triangles in their trucks? Or their trunks, not their trucks. Well, maybe in their trucks. I don't know. Not a thing we do over here. Tell me precisely where we are. Okay. Um. I'm on a road. There's lots of trees. Um. There's giant semi. Crashed in the car head on, it looks like. Get inside. I think. This how, yes. Sat nav. Okay. When giving your location, try to avoid GPS coordinates. I can be imprecise. Use rows, names, and distances instead. Actually, in my opinion, GPS coordinates would be more accurate, but okay. Now we need to check the victims. Alright, let's start with him. Sir, are you okay? Yeah, he ain't okay. He's got several lacerations. I don't think this dude's gonna... Holy shit, he's breathing. He's got lacerations to his legs, too. Thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get guy in this car that he hit. Sir, are you okay? No. Open airway. He ain't breathing. He ain't breathing. He's got cuts on his arm. Okay, I don't know if there's anything I can do for him right now, so let's go down here. Um, okay, door's jammed, so check her. Ma'am, can you hear me? Okay, there's a kid in the back seat. Um, oh, undo the seatbelt, okay. Okay, let's, she's got a, oh god, is that a broken neck? Oh, she ain't breathing. Oh, no. Little dude, you good? You hear me? No? Let's open his airway. Oh, he ain't breathing either. That ain't good. Alright, let's... We're gonna start with... Oh, shit. I can't remove her. Because the door is jammed. Okay, so... Um... We'll go to go with the little kid. He looks like he's the worst. In the worst shape. So let's see. Get him out. Where did it put him? Oh, right here. Okay. Oh, first aid kit. Shit. Oh, wait, there's one right here. Thank God. Okay. Open. Give me gloves. Open that airway up. Come on. CPR mask. Put the mask on, dude. Oh, come on. I don't like how that's... Oh, they want five. Okay. Check for breathing. Okay, he's breathing. Okay, put it in the recovery position, so take that mask off of him. Okay. Yeah, that's that's correct. Okay. Oh, I failed. I need to act faster. How much faster do I need to be? Okay. Let's, let's get him out, I guess. I've got the first aid kit. Oh, I think it glitched. Oh, I think this might have broke. All right, let's try this again. Ma'am, you good? Can you hear me? No, okay. Unbuckle her seatbelt, get her airway open. She's got a wound. I don't know what the wound is. I think it's a broken neck. She is not breathing. Little dude, can you hear me? No. Let's open his airway up. He's not breathing either. Alright, let's go ahead and 
pull him out. I think the lady driver of this purple car is unfortunately not. I think she's dead. So let's go ahead and use a first aid kit. Gloves. Open up that airway. Mask. Oh, come on. Check for breathing. Okay, he is breathing. Put in the recover position. Okay, arm. Arm. Good? Oh, oh, legs. Okay. That's right. I'm gonna roll them over onto their side and also get that airway open. Okay. On the next non-breathing adult. Okay. He's breathing. He is not. So we need to figure out how to get him out of the, tr out of the car. He's trapped by seatbelt. Um. I don't think there's how. How do I get? Oh, unbuckle seatbelt. Pull him out. There we go. I think I'm figuring it out. Okay. Okay, first aid kit. Open gloves. Open that airway up. Get that CPR mask. Put it on him. Chest compressions. One. Oh, come on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay. Let's get some. Two counts, listen for breathing. Nope, no breathing. Oh, the ambulance is on scene now. Definitely somewhere over in Europe. I don't know where. Okay. Why did... Uh, okay. That looked like a whoopee cushion there for a second. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Now we need to gather all the clues. So we definitely got skin marks here. They're irrelevant. Okay. What about... Uh, skin marks are irre irrelevant. Blood stains. Irrelevant. Impact point. Yeah, close your with the oncoming truck, that's for sure. Um, skin marks, clue. Suzanne o Olander breaks and collides with trailer, yes. I'm guessing that's a, one of the last things that happened here. What else we got? Broken windshield. Yeah, ja Jacob was thrown, ejected through the windshield. I knew that. Oh, there's skin marks back here. Ingolf Holt changes the lades to avoid the animal. Oh. Is there an animal somewhere around here? Footprints. Those are hooves. A boar stands on the... A boar? Definitely isn't America. We got deer. Deer will fuck up a car bad. Okay, what else? We, something else happened. Don't know what I'm missing. What am I missing? I'm missing something. It's going to be obvious, probably. I've looked in this truck eight times. There's got to be... Uh, truck driver was... I... Duh, he was... A, he was ejected. Yeah, he's definitely... Just for the record, I did look it up because I've been sitting here for the last... 10, almost 15 minutes trying to figure this out. Okay, now we can go ahead and put this events in order. First, we have the deer. Okay. Or wait, no. Boar first. Boar, not a deer. Boar. 
holds uh, changes lanes. That through when truck driver is not wearing seatbelt. That results with him going through the windshield and then Suzanne rear ends him. Yes. Jacob, that's the dude that was ejected with a spinal injury. Ooh. Underwent surgery after he which he had completed several months of rehabilitation to be able to walk again. Currently, Jacob works as a security guard in a local supermarket monitoring the cameras and will need to take painkillers for the rest of his life. Ingolt su suffered significant blood loss due to deep life changes in his arm by a piece of glass. That's the dude driving this red car. Fortunately, your CPR saved his life and the paramedics stopped the bleeding. The wounds healed quickly, but the glass severed severe nerves and Ingolt lost full use of his left hand. The injuries were minor. How I, When Suzanne's car hit the back of the trailer, her bumper bumper smashed the front window and her, hit her in the head, killing her instantly. There was nothing the paramedics or you could do. She was buried a week later in her hometown. After the impact, August was in shock as a result of coma. Alpha suffers from severe minor internal. After five weeks, he regained consciousness up and to live with his father. The accident and the death traumatized him severely and had to go to go therapy for two years. After that, he returned to school. Good God, that's morbid. Guess we can click and look again. So he was, the injuries were minor. However, he was, un he was able to function normally. Okay, so that's what that was. Wow. Wow, wow. Uh oh. Oh, never mind. Oh, that's it. Okay. Well, for a demo, that wasn't bad. It's definitely interesting. It's only 12 bucks on Steam. It's on sale. I, I definitely think this is one I'm going to buy. I'm not 100%. I think... Yeah, I'm gonna consider it. That's for sure. So, um, ugh, excuse me. <laughs> um, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. It'll let me know if you want to keep seeing, you know, stuff like this. Um, if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're trying to branch off and try different games instead of just GTA. So, this one definitely is a viable option. It's really interesting. That's for sure. So can I close out of here and go to the back to the main menu? Yes. There we go. So yeah, make sure you like and subscribe and all that jazz. And I will see you all in the next one. Okay. Everything you